Great strength. How are you doing? Today, we will be dealing with the subtopic under force and motion, mass, weight, and gravity. Welcome to class. When an object accelerates, a force causes it to do so. The name given to the force of gravity acting on an object is its weight. Weight is a force which is measured in Newton. Every object on or near the earth's surface has weight, which is caused by the attraction of earth gravity. Weight is expressed as weight, which can as symbol W, is equal to mass, symbol M, times acceleration due to gravity, symbol G. Do not forget that it's measured in new things. Now, to some activity for the day. The product of a boil of this mass and acceleration due to gravity is known as, I already know the answer, weight. Correct. So, in moving on, let's do this exercise to drag the walls into the boxes. The acceleration caused by the pull of the, let's say, adds gravity, is called, is called the acceleration of free fall. Or the acceleration due to gravity. They both mean the same. It is given the symbol G, 10 meters per second squared, to the surface of the heart. The heart pulls with a force of 10 newton on each kilogram of matter. This indicates that an object of 1 kilogram has a weight of that will be 1 times 10. Then we have Newton. That's 10 Newtons. Weight of 10 Newtons. So let's check. You can see it's correct. The acceleration due to gravity on the heart is greater than the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. Can that be true? But wait, why? The acceleration due to gravity on the heart is six times stronger or more than that on the moon. So it can be true. So check. Correct. Now let's move on. Now distinguishing between mass and weight. Mass of an object which is measured in kilograms tells us how much matter is composed of. The weight of an object measured in newtons is the gravitational force that acts on it. If you take an object to the moon, it will weigh less than it does on Earth. Why? Because the moon's gravity is weaker than it does on the Earth. The moon's gravity is weaker than the Earth. Mass remains constant because it is made up of just as much matter as when it was on Earth. When an object is weighed using a balance, the weight of the object is compared to that of the standard weight on the other side of the balance. If two objects weigh the same, the masses will be the same. Now, Let's try out this activity, these questions. An astronaut has a mass of 90 has a mass of 90 kilograms. A. Calculate our weight on the surface of the heart. B. The astronaut travels to Mars where gravity is weaker. The acceleration of free fall, that is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Mars, has a value of G, 3.7 meter per second squared. We have to calculate also the weight 
on the mass. With that in mind, let's do the calculations before we pick the answer. So for A, we have W is equal to NG. W now is equal to mass on Earth is 90 times what's the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth? That's 10 meter per second squared. That makes our weight on the Earth to be 900 newtons. Now, with that in mind, what about the weight of the same astronaut on the moon? Yeah, G is 3.7 meter per second squared. Then, weight of the astronaut on the moon will now be 90 times 3.7, which we can write as 90 times 37 over, over 10. This cancels this. So weight of the astronaut on the moon will give us 333 newtons. So weight of the astronaut on the Earth is 900 newton, and weight of the astronaut, astronaut on the moon is 333 newton. Can we see part of the option? Yeah, that's true. Let's see. Correct. Now, let's move on. Which one of the following statements is correct? The weight of the car is one of the forces acting on the car. Mass and weight are different names for the same thing. The mass of an object is different if the object is taken to the moon. The weight of a chocolate bar is measured in kilograms. Now, the weight of a chocolate bar is not only measured in kilograms, it can be measured in grams, it can even be measured in pounds. The statement seems to be incorrect. The mass of an object is different if the object is taken to the moon. Mass will always be constant anywhere in the universe, anywhere on any planet. Mass of any object is constant. Mass and weight are different names for the same thing. No, that is wrong. The weight of a car is one of the forces acting on the car. Yes, weight will always act with downward. Let's check. We are correct. Now let's move on to summary for the day. Let's take the statements one, then the other. The mass of an object is measured in newtons, while its weight is measured in kilograms. The statement is incorrect. Why? Mass will always be measured in what? Kilograms? Ah, uh, yes. Why weight will always be measured in newtons? Let's see the next statement. The mass of an object is measured in kilograms, while its weight is measured in newtons. That's correct. But we can't leave out the third statement. The mass of an object changes from one place to another. No, the mass is always constant. While its weight is fixed, at any point on the earth's surface. Weight of any object changes on the earth's surface depending on where you are on the earth's surface. So we can go with the mass of an object is measured in kilograms while its weight is measured in newtons. Students, we've come to the end of the class today. Do well to subscribe to our website www.edube.com Dot com for more of the interactive book on this same topic. Do have a great time. Thank you for your time.